All right, guys, I am in North Carolina right now. It's early in the morning, so I'm hoping that there's going to be some snakes catching the early morning sun. We're going to be here for around four or five-ish days, so hopefully we can have some luck with them then. I actually went out last night for a little while, and also, if I sound a bit congested, it's because uh, I am. I have a really bad sinus infection after working this summer so um yeah don't mind that but either way it's not gonna stop me from getting out here and catching some snakes i went out last night and managed to see a nice little brown water snake i'm gonna hopefully turn up something pretty cool today it's gonna be a sort of a half work half play kind of day so hopefully we can catch something before the work starts and we can be happy. But it's probably going to take a little bit of work. So, without further ado, I'm going to go down to this creek over here, see if I can find something cool. This particular rock is looking very nice. A couple of giant centipedes, wow. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect rock for snakes to be under. Oh my. Wow. All right. Well, onward. All right. Got some nice looking rocks here. Let's see if any of them are flippable. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, it's not a snake, but. Check this skull out. I'm not sure if that's a goat or what, but it's pretty freaking cool. It's wild. That's really neat. It's onward, I haven't seen much, but it's looking real good over here, so hopefully we'll turn something up eventually. <clears throat> All right, guys, we have a refrigerator over there. See if we can find a snake under the refrigerator. All jokes aside, it looks pretty good. I'm not even kidding. I just ran into a spider web. That's pleasant. Oh my gosh, there are frogs in there. <laughs> oh my. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can flip it. Is that even possible with one hand? No, if I'm gonna flip this thing, I'm gonna need two hands. Alright, well, see you guys in a sec. What's with all of the refrigerators here? Oh my gosh, what the heck? I'm so confused. This is what happiness feels like. Perfect flipping rock. Perfect two-handed flipping rock. Oh my god. Wow, it's a lot of insects, but there's no snakes. Alright, well, that's what depression feels like. Now we are talking boards. Oh, yes. It's a double board. Nothing to that one. This is really sketchy. I'm at a random guy's house. I don't even know who this is. There we go. That took way too long. First snake is a nice, or second snake technically, but first in snake, in hand snake, is a nice little eastern worm snake. Check it out. Look at that little guy. Let's see if I can get it focused in on this guy. 
really, really strange, interesting looking snakes. You can see they've got that really flat head for digging. They have an almost transparent belly. That's a cool gun in on me. Get off. <laughs> but that belly is like almost transparent. You can actually see its insides, which is really cool. But neat find. I'm going to go ahead and get some photos and release this guy. Neat animal. Look at that toad. It's got a really nice red on it. Check that out. See if I can zoom in a little bit. Really good looking toad though. Alright buddy. Buddy. Oh. Onward. Alright guys, check out this little beauty. See if I can slowly uncover it. This is a nice little box turtle. And my lifer box turtle. Oh my gosh. Check this dude out. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Really gnarly, crazy looking shell and a beautiful head. But, really, really neat animal. I'm gonna try to get this guy out of his shell to get some really nice photos of him and release him right back as on his way. As you can see, the reason these guys are called box turtles is because they have this little hinge on the top of their shell here that will actually allow them to close themselves in for better protection. But, neat animal, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and get some photos and release it. Neat. All right, guys, I was flipping through this debris pile and managed to find a really, really big northern brown snake. Look at that little guy. It looks like it's gravid, but really neat to find. Always love to come across these guys, especially when it's on a random occasion flipping through junk like this. So, yeah, you didn't. Alright guys, I am at a place called Tanglewood Park right now, searching some area, hopefully, for some nice big snakes. Really anything I come across would be fair game today. It's just scouting out some area, and hopefully we can have some luck. But there's a really big lake over there, so hoping to see some Nerodia. That would be a treat, so I'm going to get to it and see what we can find. Guys, I just flipped probably one of the most stunning marbled salamanders I've ever found in my life. Wow, oh my gosh. The markings are so distinct. That is incredible. Now, sometimes these things can be very bland, but not in the case of this thing. Oh my gosh. Look at that animal. Oh my gosh, wow. Now, I do occasionally get these guys up at home. But the only place I've ever seen them is Callie's Island, which is an island off the middle of Lake Erie. So it's very, very cool to see one out on the mainland. So, so cool. All right, I'm definitely going to go get some photos of this guy and release it right back on its way. Neat animal. <laughs> All right, buddy. Back you go. It's a little bit muddy in here. <laughs> oh my god. Mistakes have been made. Oh my god. Wow. Holy. Oh my god, that is a giant snapping turtle. Right there. Oh my god. Well, I'm going to try to make my way over to catch that thing. Holy. All right. I think he sees me, so I'm going to have to be really careful with this. You know what? Sandals are coming off. They're not going to do me any good. Oh, 
Holy crap. Are you even kidding me? That's a log. <laughs> what even? Look at this thing. Bro. Dude. All right, well, I'm gonna be the smart person here and try to put my phone away and get this turtle under control here so he doesn't just bite my face off. <sighs> yeah, definitely. Buddy, I'm gonna need that back. This turtle's guarding my sandal. Bro, I kinda need that to walk. Oh my god, this is easily a 25 pound common snapping turtle, and he is cranky. What a monstrous animal. This is definitely one of the bigger ones I've caught, easily 25 pounds. Now, uh, really, really healthy looking adult, cranky too. What he was doing, likely, was basking and probably waiting for a meal to come along his path, but I kind of disturbed him from that, so I'm gonna go ahead, let him be back on his way after a few quick photos. Listen to that animal. What an amazing creature. <sighs> Was not expecting to find this. All right, well, let's go let him be on his way and see what else we can find. All right, let's get this big turtle right back into this pond. Wow. Whew, look at that beast. Whew. Right back he goes. Wow. All right guys, after about 45 minutes of flipping tin and rearranging it, I flipped a ring neck. Look at this dude. Now I believe this is a northern ring neck. Assuming by the complete yellow belly and that beautiful orange, oh my gosh. One of my favorite snakes by far. And another animal I was not expecting to come across today, but these are pretty common fossorial snakes. As you can see, I actually flipped them right under this piece of tin here, which is usually where they hide out. So, really neat animal. Super happy to come across him. I'm going to go get some photos and release it. But, neat animal. Real pretty. Hey, buddy. Off you go. <laughs> All right, guys, yet another fossorial species, another worm snake. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> another eastern worm snake. Beautiful specimen, perfect. But uh, just flipping under these logs and managed to pull him up out of the ground before he managed to escape me. But yeah, worm snake number two. I'm not going to spend too much time with him, but just put his log back and let him be on his way. Eat animal. See what else we can find. Mildly terrifying, but okay. So I was just sort of hiking and I found this. What the frick? Interesting. Huh wild all right guys well I was sifting through a pile of rocks apparently not putting into perspective that I'm in North Carolina and there are venomous snakes here so I flipped a rock saw a snake and I grabbed it 
And then I took another look. I'm like, wait, that's uh, different. <laughs> I grabbed a copperhead. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, um, next time maybe I'll pay a little more attention to what I'm grabbing. But 110% a copperhead. Had some really beautiful markings. And I should have, first thing, grabbed my phone and took some photos and video. But sadly, I was too much of an idiot and I tried to get it into a better position where I could photograph it. And I missed my opportunity and now he's gone down the rocks. So I'm hoping maybe I can either sift through those rocks a little more and try to find that little guy. Or maybe wait till he's come coming back out to bask. But <clears throat> either way, I saw one and I missed it. So hopefully I'll get another opportunity on it. But I don't know. Either way, that's my life for Copperhead. So that's what I came here to see. And that's what I have seen. So neato. Maybe I'll see him again. Who knows? All right, guys, we are leaving North Carolina today. This is our last day, and we are headed home in the matter of a couple hours. So hopefully I can turn up one more snake before we leave. I'd love to see a copperhead again, but I'm doubting that. So one more snake. Most likely going to be a fossil oil snake, if anything, but... I'll take what I can get, so guess we'll head out here and see if we can find anything before we go. All right, guys. We have another worm snake here. Another really, really good looking adult. Oh man, these things are really difficult to get video of, but once again, a really healthy looking adult. Good looking snake. Found him under this rock right here. But yeah, that's worm snake number three for the trip. So more fossorial species. Go ahead and put this rock right back and release it. Right back under he goes. All right, guys, it's been a pretty successful trip. We've managed to come across some pretty cool snakes, mainly some fossorial species, but I came across that copperhead and missed it. So we're gonna be back here pretty shortly, maybe in the next couple weeks. So. Hopefully I can get back to it and maybe find it again. But hopefully I'll get lucky and it won't get away from me. So I'll keep looking. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.